And uh, technically, can you say some things about what's different about the Solar Impulse 2 compared to Solar Impulse 1, solar cells, battery, whatever? Well, Solar Impulse 1 was a prototype. It could fly through the night, but it was not an airplane to travel. This one is an airplane to travel. It's much more reliable. It's the technologies of tomorrow. The first plane had the technologies of yesterday. All the construction technologies are different. Reliability, efficiency, we have the best electrical engines in the world, the best batteries in the world, the lightest materials in the world. It's, it's a flying laboratory. Is this carbon fiber? Yeah, it's carbon yeah. fiber. But can you imagine that the, the layers of the carbon fiber sheets are 25 grams per square meter? Mm -hmm. To give you an example, the paper from your printer is 80 grams per square meter, which is three times heavier. And can you say any of the companies that you're using uh, technologies from? Absolutely, because this companies they want to have the possibility now to bring clean technologies on the market so in, in that sense we have uh, Solvay, Bayer Material Science, Schindler, Omega working a lot with Altran and ABB just came on board. Yeah. ABB is extremely important you know why? Because we promote technologies and ABB builds them, makes them for the public yeah. so it's exactly the link between us and the final customer. Yeah, ABB is doing tremendous work. We, we love partnering with them on all, the, all of the stuff they're doing now. Um, you know, ABB actually gives the credibility yeah. to our project. Yeah. It shows how useful it is because they implement these technologies for wind turbines, for converters, for, for everything that uses electricity. And yeah. this is what the world needs. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to waste all our natural resources to, to have... A, dirty uh, energies. Right, and operationally, can you say what's different flying this plane compared to a conventional plane, uh, some, some of the differences for the general audience? Well, this airplane is so big and so light and flies so slowly that it's very sensitive to turbulence. So when you start to control the plane, you have a lot of inertia. The plane doesn't react when you believe it will, so sometimes it's very paradoxical. Mm -hmm. That was a top question from, uh, from my wife. <laughs> okay.